Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X with me, Get Daved. So, looks like I won't be getting the chance to go to the uh, bubble crap stage. Also, I didn't really pay attention on where the X hunters beamed down, so we might be stuck in a very difficult to win fight. Well, let's go! Yep, he's a moth. If you can, uh, those hanging guys, if you can kill them when they're hanging uh, from the roof, it's actually pretty much the easiest time to kill them. If you leave their heads up there, that's probably the worst thing you can do, because they just bombard you from above. And if there's one thing I hate, it's death from above. Which is the name of my new cheesecake. Alright. I'm a reasonably big fan of the Mega Man series. Um, you know, I've played them basically my whole life. But uh, I'm not one of those guys who knows the name of every enemy in the stage. In the credits to the games, they'll tell you what their names are. Um, but there's, like, no rhyme or reason to what their name is. And at the end of this Let's Play, if I don't remember this, you better, well, remember it now. Because I'm telling you. In the present. Which is the past for me by the time you watch this. Good talk. Anyway, you gotta play a game with yourself where you guess the name of... The, uh, well, you just try figuring out what enemies were named what based on the credits of it in the game. Okay? Because they've all got really weird names. Like those shield guys, they could just be called shield guys, but they're not. They're gonna be called something crazy like Power Spinner. You'll see. And then it will make sense. And then everyone will understand me. Ah, oh, it's violent. I'm state saving. I know I'm supposed to be rampantly against this, but he will crush me like a tin can. It's not just talk. That's the only move of his that's not particularly dangerous. That one is particularly dangerous. Oh, goodness. Touching him is pretty dangerous, too. Especially because... Oh, boy. going pretty well. If you have to choose between getting hit by his flailing Morningstar and uh, him, just choose to smash into him. Victory is mine. Yeah, it was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty pro at this game. Yeah, I just put the unification in jeopardy. Honestly, everybody, that's like the best match I've ever had against him in my life. He's tough. If... He can throw the Morningstar at you directly, which is much harder to deal with than if he does the three smash, where it goes one long, one medium, one close. So I was able to dodge it the entire time. There's a whole bunch of power-ups here, if memory serves. Also, these little uh, magnets, or whatever the heck they are, um, will both push and pull you, kind of like water. We and La. And, uh... Give yourself 10 points if you caught that reference, by the way. You can jump super high when it's pulling you up. Uh, jump very little. Magn centipede amounts of little if it's pushing you down. So... I feel like there's a jaded women remark to be made there, too. But I understand one out of every thousand of my viewers is female, so... I won't make such charged remarks. Was that awkward for all of you? I hope so. I find it awkward when Let's Players talk about their personal lives, personal philosophies, and so on. Which is why we're going to talk about abortion. Just kidding. 
Alright. This guy is actually reasonably hard, and by the way, if you have Bubble Crab's weapon, which is also quite useful, uh, it's really easy to kill those guys with it. I do not, so it will not. But uh, the pushing and pulling combined with how many times you have to hit that guy can actually be very tough. If you don't kill the pink little enemy that was inside him, uh, context is important in that sense, by the way. Uh, if you don't kill it, then, uh, you know, it will spawn another one. It'll c just keep rebuilding those giant junk robots. Presumably until the end of time. Now I've got the flame weapon, which Morph Moth is uh, weak against, so... Oh, you know what, we'll just save it for later. It might actually be faster to kill him without... Actually, that's probably not true. Screw that, it's faster to kill him with. I'll kill him without later. A very lackluster opening to the fight. Sorry, everybody. Oh, goodness. He can spin that uh, little trash pile uh, both directions. And by the way, why the moth lives in a junk pile, I don't know. Uh, anyway, he can spin that thing in both directions and make your life pretty miserable. This part I consider to be relatively easy, just make sure you hit him semi-regularly, otherwise he does a crazy laser. I'll let you see it. Yeah, I know it didn't look like much, but boy is it dangerous. Doesn't it look like he's just been slapped? Alright, and I'm only going to do one Robot ma Master in this video, partly because the time was so tight on the last one, and partly because uh, the secret to enjoying my Let's Plays is portion control. Remember, better to have a few small Let's Plays all throughout the day than just having them at three centralized locations in large quantities. Alright, I'll see you all next time for more health tips and Let's Playing! Um, next time, awkward segue.